Let's go to work. We have to grind now. <laughs> Monday, December 26th. $10,000 is what we need. Yawn. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Gil's in the back sorting any... Uh, sorting an ingredient shipment and I've got things to do. Dog's in charge, okay? Bye. Wait, the dog? What? Okay, first order, pet me. No. Pet me. No. I'm in charge and I want you to pet me. <laughs> Good enough. Time to make strings and change life. Hey, Jay. I won't pet you. You'll pay me sooner or later. They all do. I won't. Will. You called? He said Will, not Gil. Ah. Who the hell is Will? Nobody. Don't be rude with poor Will. There's no Will. You need me to psych you up then? Shut up. Who? Me or Will? Ah. You go back to whatever you were doing. All right. And you, stand by. Unless you pet me. Go. The freak just happened. Virilico. Why aren't we spirited today? Welcome to Valha... Ver Verhelio, sorry. Verilico. Verhelio. Why you sound so weirded out? You didn't show with a bombastic soliloquy. But putting up an act can be tiring, you know? So it's all an act then? Wasn't it obvious? Oop, whoopsies. I guess. <laughs> Would you mind getting me a bleeding Jane? Sure. Um, Verhelio wants a bleeding Jane. He wants what he ordered. Interesting. One, two, three. All blended. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. Bam. Leading Jane for you. Exactly what you ordered for once. Um, okay. Yes, it's just a thing. So, tired of putting on an act. Better explain? It's a long story. And honestly, rather than I talk about it right now. Fair enough. Made you change your mind, though. Well, for one thing, it's safer for me now. The pompous buffoon act was mostly a way to avoid raising suspicion. Safer? That's a word. That, there's a word that's been losing meaning lately. Wait, that was your way of avoiding suspicion? Yes. <laughs> you know how weird that sounds, right? Sounded weird? You can't have to raise suspicion, but you act in a bombastic manner that screams you're there. And everyone dismisses the fool as the buffoon and moves on. Huh. I mean, you might be right if I were talking about hiding myself, but I'm avoiding certain crowds of people. Yes, my behavior might call everyone's attention, but then everyone just decides I'm harmless and disregards me. And depending on how erratic my actions are, I'd become harder to read, giving me yet another layer of enigma. <coughs> uh... Well, congrats. No offense, but I fell right into your plan. I just dismissed your actions as those as a fool have moved on. You completely fooled me. Thanks. Say, can you give me something spicy? Sure. Uh, something spicy. Let's get you a Mars Blast because I can get, I mean, yeah, I get you Mars Blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these. One, two, three, four. One, two. All blended. Right? Two, one of these. Six of those. And four of those. Yeah. Two. Four, five, six, blend. Mars Blast, all for you. Aren't you fascinated by spiciness? That's spicy for humans might not be spicy for anima other animals. Hell, what's toxic for us might not be toxic for other creatures. You like spicy things, bartender? I don't mind them, I guess. I'm not really a fan. I that neutral stance is actually weird to come across. Everyone either loves spicy or hates them with its passion. Do you like it? Lots. Not only regards to painfully spicy things, but also the way mild or slight spice adds to a meal. I've always had this dream of opening a curry stand. As things are, I might actually pursue that dream. Let me know if you do. I've had curry in ages now. Hey, bartender. Call me Jill. You finally know my name, barely. Okay. I wanted to apologize. Huh? You put up with all. You put up with me all this time without lashing out. I should apologize for my behavior. Thank you for that. Don't worry. I just feel like I was too rude to you last time you came. Granted, you came at a really bad time, but I should be the one apologizing. You're a kind, after all. Well, don't. I'm actually surprised that nobody else had finally lashed out at me yet. <laughs> You're making me curious as to who you really are, though. Is Virgilio even your real name? It might be. It might not. Sometimes I wonder if I'm a magnet for people who hide their identities and sorted past. Gil, Jamie, you... Um, did you say something? Just rambling. Pay me no more. Uh, now to think about it, how did you find this bar? I was avoiding some traps and came to this alley. Huh. Again. Again. In my time here, I've heard avoided people and ended up here enough times to make me believe that the original owner built the plot bar here up thinking about a run runaway public. You make me sound like a criminal. You're not helping. The expression runaway doesn't just mean people escaping the law though. We just had people avoiding stalkers or solicitors. I've seen people more I've seen people more shocked by an insistent salesman than a shady figure. And maybe because a salesman is a more active predator, I don't know. A troublesome part about the city right near the shopping district. Uh I don't know. Let them know there's a bar and they'll come. Sorry, I should I should stop rambling to myself so much. I don't mind it. Uh, do you think I'm sort of criminal? I'm a sort of criminal, though. Like I said, you're not helping. But for all I know, you might be the buffoon I've seen the other day. In any case, can I get something bitter here? I'm on it. 
something better. Easy enough. Um, bitter, let's get you a... Did I get you? Sunshine Cloud? Nah, I don't think you like that. Let's get you a gut punch. I feel like you want a gut punch. One, two, three, four, five. One of these. I'll age and mix. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam, bam, bam. Here you go. This works. Do you like coffee, Miss Bartender? As sweet as it may sound from a smoking bartender. No, I don't. Well, I get it. It's not for everyone. That cat boomer the other day. What about her? Still scared of her? Not really, but she looks so familiar. Maybe you're mixing up with another cat boomer. No, that's not it. It's like the bandage girl last time. Even though, even with the bandages, there's just something really familiar about it. Maybe you need to stop thinking about it. Answer usually come to you when you stop stressing out. You might be right. Well, I'll leave you for now, bartender. Thanks for everything. Please come again. Welcome to Valhalla. Oh, hello, Mr. Detective. Hi. And here we are. Another mute person wandering into the bar. Anything I can get you? Gut punch. Okay. Gut punch for the silent detective. Cool. Uh, let's go gut punch. Oh, we just made that, didn't we? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Let's get you a karma screen in there just because I feel like you might need it. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam. Gut punch for you. Here you go. Oh, you got it right. Right up now. Bit of a holiday blues, you could say. You celebrate Merry, Merry Christmas? Why wouldn't I? You look more like a festivist type of guy. Why does everyone keep saying that? Huh. I wonder. Uh, okay. Well, Festivus is a celebration going against the capitalist madness that, madness that is Mega Christmas. You know, cheap, cheapskate. <laughs> he has something to say, say it. I'll refrain. Although, now that I think about it, Holiday Blues is not really tied to a specific celebration. Just the season. A season of consumers craze. Mega Christmas is just a mockery of a real Christmas once was. I mean, the season has slowly become enslaved to the corporations over time. Holiday spirit can only be manipulated so much. But then came the Turbo Male guy. He started a yearly tradition of dressing up like Santa in the ring. Turbo Male? That can't be his real ring name. It is. Really? Such a tacky name was accepted? His partner was Buster Master and his rival was Dr. Chris Max. Tacky names are not a problem. I mean, I knew there was a wrestler that dressed as Santa every year. I also knew that the guy became insanely popular and the stunt got cut. The stunt got out of control. And of course, that's the part everyone sings about. Santa became Nega Santa thanks to the Redmond family. Mega Santa sees the era of his ways and becomes a mighty Mega Santa, renaming the holiday Mega Christmas. And then every company jumped on the bandwagon and Christmas was Mega Christmas before anyone noticed. So you're telling me that the guy who somehow managed to rename the holiday went by the name, ring name, Turbo Mail. Yep. Huh. That makes the whole holiday sound like a joke. The holiday is a joke. And you're telling me you don't celebrate Festivus? Sigh. No, I don't. Do you know what kind of people celebrate Festivus? The kind that's so lame and bland that they only talk about how they're better because they celebrate Festivus. Like, those jerks who only eat nuke, nuke, and think they're better than everyone else. I see. Anything else I can get you? Get your fringe, fringe weaver, will ya? Sure. Let's get my fringe weaver. Cool, cool, cool. I don't know. It's Christmas time. Get in the- oh my god. I didn't realize this is a freaking- oh, the car machine. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All aged and mixed. Jeez Louise, dude. Four and five. Bam, bam. Friend Reaver, all for you. All right, thanks. So many issues with the city lately? That's the word on the street. Shouldn't I be asking that? There's nothing new, really. The lynchings of White Knight stop, so there's that. Really? Something about the armor? I haven't got much on that one yet. All in all, the madness following the attack on the bank seems to have settled down a bit. That's good to hear. Any other details about the attack merge yet? Uh, I'll record to whatever happened. There have been long deleted. Security cams, system logs, everything was white. Huh. Whatever happened there, it's gonna be even more of a mystery now. I wonder if Say plans on testifying. Does anyone know if Say went there in the first place? Huh. Maybe the wiping or everything actually protects her somehow. Hey bartender, you okay? Sorry, I got distracted. There's not much to say really. Uh there's an odd silly rumor here and there. Like the vending machines, tasers malfunctioning, applying more strength, or that the writer of the last rain in the world is actually living here as a brain in the jar. Wait a sec. <laughs> but those are the kind of rumors you hear from crackheads. Crackheads might not hold, might hold that one last piece of info you need, but also hear crap like that. I see. Anyway, I'm leaving. Happy New Year, bartender. Please come again. Okay then. Um. Boat. No wait. She's out. Gil, you there? Boss. Ah. Uh, yeah. Tea your break. Let me know if someone comes in. Cool. 2069. Tukaban Games. Nice. We're chillin'. He's gotta get through the day and forget, or don't forget, to save. 
Who is what's her name? Alice Rabbit. Things are pretty quiet outside. Uh yeah. Okay. Jill. Ah, oh, Miss Kim. Just call me Kim. Sounds weird to be called Miss. You seem to be in a good mood. Uh, I got the money on Mega Christmas. I got some money on Mega Christmas. Wouldn't you be happy? I guess. What can I get you? I'll have a beer. Okay. Just just a beer? Cool. I mean, I'm not gonna go play. One of these, two of these, uh, one of these, two of these, and one, two, three, and a four. All mixed. One, two, three, four, and five. Bam, bam. All for you. Thanks. So how you been doing? It's been a while, man. Pretty good, actually. Uh, my hair stopped falling out. Oh, my appetite's coming back. I didn't realize how much the new super was weighing on me until I quit. I suddenly stopped feeling defeated. I actually felt like I achieved victory. Like, I got a hold of my own life. It's been nice to hear. Oh yeah, I started bartender training in January too. Oh yeah, you wanted to do that. Huh. It's some research and it sounded cool. BTC gives you many benefits, so it sounds like a good thing for, to do for the time being. I don't know if it's what it, or if it's what I want to do for the rest of my life, but it's a good start. You give me time to think of the next course of action. Good advice. Don't go for BTC housing plans unless you absolutely have to. You have to sign a contract for at least five years of service with a cut in pay and tips. I was going to go for that one, but I backed down a bit at the last minute. How do you back down a bit? I took the chance on the BTC found me apartment. Instead of signing the BTC contract, I just asked for a regular one. I still have no idea how I got away with that one. <laughs> Interesting. I thought those apartments were built by them or something. Back in England, they are, but they have their own real estate companies. Or they have their own real estate companies. Apartment complexes where they have the means to give these kind of rooms to employees. But in the city... Uh, yeah. Um, Realty Nua holds an unspoken real estate monopoly. The BTC can't easily offer much such promises. Oh. Realty Nua is a bit weird as far as companies go. Their name has become synonymous with quality, a brand built around certain expectations. But the truth is that Realty Nua has done little to no work in the last 10 years or so. Really. I mean, when they started, they managed to sell and build upon plots of land and everyone gave up on. It became a big name as far as real estate goes. But in reality, the company itself has actually done less than you think over the years. Most of the time, they're cashing in on their established properties or letting others work with them. I believe in the last 10 years or so, they've only started around 3 or 4 new projects. And they're all expansions of their already established ones. Uh, <laughs> you seem to know a lot about this, Jesus. Yeah, I just read a lot about it over time. Especially ever hearing my landlord ramble about them. I think it's all par for the course for real estate companies, really. But it's true that when you hear a name as so such, you expect something, I don't know, different? But enough rambling on my side. You must be thirsty. Can I do something else? Uh, let's try a sugar rush. Cool. Um, sugar rush. I feel like I've been serving them a lot lately. I don't... I don't really think so. <laughs> Not really. Maybe I'm supposed to, but yeah. Let's do karma drink. Because it's because I like you. Two, three, four, and five. Bam, bam, bam. Here you go. Yeah. Actually, you I came here today. Thank you. Me. Yeah, back when I first showed up here, I was in a really rough spot. I was shocked, I was tired, I was a total mess. I even said some really mean things, but you had patience with me. Not to mention, you helped me cool down and your boss saved me. And I don't know, I felt like I had to tell you all that before the year ended. Must appreciate it, thanks. Anyway, how you doing? Last time you were a bit... Off. I'm better now. Thanks a lot. Glad to hear. It's weird to see you like that. I always feel like you were putting up a cool part bartender act. I did? You don't? I don't. Are you sure? What you saw as a cool bartender act, what everyone else has described as being cold. I mean, cold and cool do mean the same, but... Nah, I don't, I don't, I don't try to put up an act. Sorry to disillusion you. It's too much of a mess. Huh. Disappointed? Surprised, actually. Well, what led me to believe you were putting on an act? And more importantly, how can I make use of it when I'm assigned to a bar? I must investigate further. Good luck with that. Uh, let's try something bubbly now. Go. Cool. Let's try something bubbly. Easy enough. Uh, bubbly is... Oh. Beer or frothy water? I do frothy water. You might like that. One, two, something different from all age and mix. One, three, four, five. Bam, frothy water. Here you go. Thanks. Hey, Joe, I'm gonna need some ice. Not boss. Boss? I know you. Thank you, thank you. Hey, nice to see you're fine. I'm more than fine. I'm alive. I'm here. I avoided my biggest mistake in life thanks to your timely intervention. I, I don't know what overcame me. I just felt like, like everything was shouting. I couldn't stop the shouting, so I just felt like, like, Thank you. I didn't even mention that. I just did what I felt was right. Jill, ice please? Right. Are you alright? Did you seek help? I know a couple people that could help you. Don't worry, I'm perfectly fine. I've gone to a therapist a couple of times, but he says I'm okay. I just, something overcame me, but you intervened and I don't know what to say. You already said thank you. Seeing that you're fine is more than enough for me. 
I, I should have come to thank you earlier. I owed you that at least. Don't worry. Just go ahead and be happy. You have a second chance. Use it as best as you can. I will. I'll be leaving. Happy New Year, Jill. And thank you again. Please come again. So a couple of weeks ago, I read some news about a woman saving a suicidal girl, catching her mid-air. Would you know anything about that, boss? Maybe, maybe not. Whoever it was probably did it because it was the right thing to do. Feeling lonely? That voice. Hey, Jill. Long time no see. I really long time no see. Seriously, it feels like it's been over a year since I last saw you. I was planning on visiting you last week, but things are pretty heavy back then. So I waited in the background until the tension wore off a bit. Alright, so Jill, I'm talking to you here. If I ignore her, she'll leave. I'm not an unfathomable sense of dread. You can't just ignore me, you know? <laughs> okay. Julianne Stingray, I'm talking to you. <gasps> her full name. Calm down, don't fall for her talk. Actually, you know my full name, though. I know your full name was Julianne Natalie Stingray. Or did you legally remove the Natalie? Never mind, is she reading my thoughts? Yeah, I mean, they're kind of written in the middle of a screen. I did not see them, actually. Alright, that's it. I'm going crazy. It's such a self-centered way to see the world. You assume that you're crazy because you can't accept that this world could be weirder than you think. This world is amazing because of the things you kiss can't explain. And just because only, experience, only you experience something doesn't mean it's a lie that you're crazy. I mean, look at ASMR. No, I'm pretty sure that's what a crazy person would say in this scenario. You acknowledge me. Crap. <laughs> that's good. I want... I'm not serving you anything. What? Why? Last time you came, I had to clean the drinks I served you off the floor. Don't be like that. The drinks are also paid for were also paid for with my money. I don't know how you did it, but that's it. Any and all plans I have for the rest of the off balance. I was gonna buy some curry with the money I had put up for those drinks. Dog duty done. I know we have slow days for God's sake. You okay? You look angry. It's fine. I'm fine. Good job out there. I'm back. Hey boss, what happened? Meeting cut short. At least I drink the has has, uh, has the bottle. Are you okay? You look distraught. I'm fine. So they really can't see you. I mean you're in front of them. And you're wearing jeans under a skirt. <laughs> huh. Just why? You're annoying people, of course. That's a new trend. What does she think she's doing? Um, everyone feels like it's not quite right. Everyone thinks they should call you out. But you can't bring themselves to do it because it's not that wrong. These are things like spats, after all. It's uncannily right. Not at all wrong. They can't just they can't stop staring. I don't think anyone other than me could see it though. They could see it if they wanted to. See, you're making an awful lot of faces there, you okay? Yeah, just remembering stuff. Man, I miss not being crazy. Boss, I'm leaving early today. And you stay here. Who stays where? Crap, did I just... You have to be the first person I've met who mixes their inner and outer voice. I, um, thought I saw one of the dogs near the counter side. Oh, okay. Can I leave a bit earlier today? Sure. You can take care of the fort. What about me? You haven't left it. I'll thank you when you leave. That's not what I... Whatever. <laughs> Alright. Um. Flawless. Uh, there's something in case you felt lonely today. The money. Thank you. Uh, yada yada. Jill just watched Night of the ID Snatches, buying a poster with Venom for being too distracted. Honestly, we don't need it. We're fine. This cat's in heat today. Or, I'd have blue balls if I still had any. Crazy. Um, I don't know if we're going to have enough for the to not get evicted, I'm going to be honest. 10k is a lot. I had enough, but I don't anymore. <laughs> Oopsies. Your uh, new season's finally here. I can't believe I'm alive for this day. I thank you, based God. All boards to pour it in. What other boards, you idiot? Nice. More stupid nose blob. YY gets a new season, but the actual best YY is still up in the air. My internet service gets cut off tomorrow and I can't afford it anymore. Wake me up. You get a star job, you stupid neat. Oh god, here we go. Super hot cocoa, stay on a comfy couch. Put on my favorite mega Christmas sweater. I see snow falling outside. Turn on the heater, get my blanket, watch glorious YY and fall asleep when it ends. I am the comfy. I wish I was this comfy. I have work tomorrow. Enjoy the yours for me, danger. That is close. Model Warrior and same thing. Sounds cute for nerds, maybe. Maybe. Wait. Actually, I don't know. Never mind. I was gonna say, like, did I buy the freaking uh the wall thing and it took my money, but it didn't uh no, I don't think so, right? I loaded in. I don't remember. Anyway. Biking gang arrested for vandalism. Um, let's see. The members of the largest biker gangs in the Motor City sector were arrested after a group's leader. And her entourage were found on the site of protest last Friday. Her leader, no, commonly known in the streets as Christine Love, declared to the press that they were just unjustly arrested and that her gang was only there to defend protesters from the White Knights. They're afraid of us. They know they can't take us down on the streets, so they use protesters as a shield. We have no option but to surrender. Love told AE during the phone conversation. We are currently detained and waiting for trial. The formal charges are unknown so far. Isn't she a game developer? She's many things. Parliament discusses anime influence. During an unusual meeting held at Parliament today, delegates 
discuss the delegates discuss the effects of anime on the population. Uh, it's nothing but filth, trash. The representative for the Workers Party yelled during the meeting. If I could choke every single writer and animator out there, I'd do it. I'd choke them with my own enhanced hands. Several anime studio heads have responded to the news. I think they would ban it if it wasn't bringing so much money to the local market. Yamake, a producer, told the augmented eye during a phone interview. I do agree that anime is trash, but I'll save the genre. You can trust me. Ah, yes, important topics and all. Um, Taylor the Brain. This is the one who we saw a couple weeks ago. Uh, we wrote about Taylor, one of the brains in Solo Anim Anima Project. One of the highlights from the interview was that unfortunately, stripped from the finished version was a stray comment about how people asked Taylor to change their name to Brain on a regular basis. Uh, what? Oh, uh, Taylor changed the name to Brain, I see. I know people try to be funny, but I won't change my name for a punchline. Taylor told the AE team, I like the name Taylor. There's nothing wrong with Brian. Oh, change it to Brian Brain, I see. Uh, I won't be part of the joke. My life is worth more than that. Taylor's currently looking at their chances of becoming a senator in the upcoming electoral season. Taylor, hello. And um, you got anything new? No, Merry Christmas is here.